Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Continue on in our Discussion of some of the types of modesty as mentioned by Ibn al-Qayyum Ibn al-Qayyum al-Jawziyah Rahimahullah ta'ala We've come to the third type of modesty that he mentioned, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, and he said, the modesty of magnif uh, magnif magnification. And this modesty is a result of knowledge, of ilm. The extent of knowledge the slave has of his Lord will determine how modest or shy of him he or she is. So by the glorification and really realizing the magnificent of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is from ta'zim. This is from no recognizing the magnificence of your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. That He is the creator of the heavens and earth. That He is the only one worthy of worship. That He subhanahu wa ta'ala has created you for the purpose of glorifying and worshiping Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitab al kareem I have not created mankind and the jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. So this is realizing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is your Lord and realizing the magnificence of his, his ayat from his ayat shari'ya and his ayat koniya. The ayat shari'ya ayyuhallahabba refers to the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, meaning the, the uh, Quranic verses. The ayat shari'ya are those verses of the Quran which glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those are the signs for us to reflect on, to uh, reflect and to ponder and to practice. Those are the ayat shari'ya and that we, and from those ayat we recognize the magnificence of our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa huwa asan al-khalaqeen. Tabarak Allah asan al-khalaqeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala glorified be, he, he is the, 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 the one who gives blessings and who extends his greatness and his magnificence and, and he is omnipotent over all of his creation. And that he is the best of creators, subhanahu wa ta'ala, as he said about himself in the Quran. That is the ayat shari'ya. The ayat koniya, uh, these are the signs in the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we see, that we witness in the beauty of his creation, in the magnificent. Behind me here, there's a waterfall. And as we see the fog descending, and the beauty of the forest, and this mountain path, this is all from his signs and the animals that dwell here and the fact that we uh, all the uh, the beauty we witness in the creation and this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says it, uh, which illustrates his his magnificence in the Quran when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al-kareem wa min ayati al-layl wa an-nahar wa shams wa al-qamar la tashiru li shams wa la lil qamar wa shiru lillahi alladhi khalaquhunna in kuntum iyyahu ta'budun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala illustrates his, his beauty and that we should glorify him and that he is the creator of all things worthy of and he is worthy of worship subhanahu wa ta'ala due to that that illustrates his haq over us Allah says women ayati and from his signs is the day and the night the sun and the moon do not prostrate to the sun nor to the moon prostrate to Allah the one who created it if it is him you truly worship and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to have the shyness and the, sh and the modesty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wishes for us to show our awe of Him subhanahu wa ta'ala and that He's the only one worthy of worship. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase our love for Him and more importantly, may He love us.